Hey guys, Coach Sue and Coach Alex here with Physique Development, and today we're gonna to be going over the dumbbell, clavicular, and climb press. Now, when it comes to the different divisions of the chest muscles, especially in the pec major, we're going to be looking at the sternal fibers, which are gonna be running this direction. Then we're going to be looking at the clavicular fibers, which are going to be running this direction. And then we're going to be looking at the costal fibers, which are going to be running this direction. So getting into this movement here, something to keep in mind is when we're talking about a certain group that we're working, we're talking about biasing that muscle group. So no muscle works in complete isolation. There's going to be the primary muscle being worked, a secondary muscle being worked, and then there's going to be stabilizer muscles as well. So if you feel like you're feeling this in a different part of your body, that could still be okay because we're not working in complete isolation. So with the clavicular press, we are going to feel a little bit of our interior delt because that's going to be the secondary muscle moving. Now we do have a video going over the dumbbell overhead press. We have a video comparing the dumbbell overhead press to the dumbbell anterior press. And now we'll have the dumbbell clavicular press. And then at the end, I am going to show the variation to get it to the anterior delt press, just because they might look similar if you're watching the videos separately. So you'll be able to see them side by side. So we're gonna go ahead and have Alex sit down here. Now with this bench angle, it's about at a 45 degree angle. The reason we have it at this angle is we wanna make sure we have those clavicular fibers lined up. Um, we want to line up our tissue with the resistance that we're working. So Alex is going to push these dumbbells up. You'll see his arms are slightly abducted away from his body. And as he presses up, he's going to think about getting his biceps to his clavicle muscles. So he's going to be thinking about pressing up first and then pressing towards the midline to get to those clavicle muscles. Now you'll also see that his wrists are stacked on top of his elbows. They're not out in a W. They're not leaning in more and his wrists aren't bent out like this. So that is going to be the perfect um, clavicular incline press. Another thing within this movement you might have seen is Alex had a slight thoracic extension and you can have that again to have the resistance matching up with those fibers. Now to get to the anterior um, dumbbell press, we're gonna move this up to about 60 degrees. So from 45 to 60, he's gonna pick those dumbbells up again and his arms are about to be the same distance away from his body with this abduction, but it is going to be something where his palms are facing one another and his elbows are going to be more in front. You can still hit the anterior delt with your elbows out, but we are showing elbows in. He's going to press up and he's going to think about getting his arms to his ears. So if you remember for the other one, you're thinking about getting your biceps to your clavicle. For this, you're thinking about getting your arms to your ears. So there's the anterior delt press. Those clavicular fibers and the way that you're working, you're going to be in kind of a V with your arms. And as you move them up, you're going to be thinking about getting your um, thumb to your nose here. And he'll go through this motion to show you what that clavicular fiber line looks like. And if we're thinking about a front delt, um, whether it's a raise or within um, this movement, his arms are gonna be a little bit closer in, but he's gonna think about getting them to his ears. There's still a little bit of internal rotation, so it's not completely straight in front of him, but those are gonna be the differences between the clavicular dumbbell incline press as well as the anterior delt press um, and walking you through both of those.